Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to try to solve this problem. At the same time, I'm going to follow the general inquiry steps while trying to solve this problem. So first of all, let's have a good understanding by going through this question description. So given a binary tree root, a node x in the tree is named good if in the past from root to x, there's no node with a value greater than x. So return the number of good nodes in the binary tree. So for example, we have something like this. Then we are going to return four because those four nodes colored with blue are good nodes. So for example, for this one, from the pass from root to the current node, there's no nodes with value greater than uh, four. So we have this node to be a good node, so on and so forth. So let's see the constraints first. So the number of the nodes in the binary tree is in the range of 1 to 100k, which means we don't have a uh, empty tree as the input. And the nodes value is anywhere between uh, negative 10k to positive 10k. So I think uh, the first constraint is pretty useful for us because we definitely don't need to consider empty tree as the input which means the root is never going to be non-pointers. So having said that, I think there's no clear edge case for this question. So let's think about how to solve this problem. So how to solve this problem? Um, I would say this is a pretty traditional DFS question. Uh, so for DFS, we are going to pass, we can define a DFS function. Let's say it is not going to return anything. Let's say for DFS, we definitely need to pass the current node with, um, for the subtree or the root for the subtree. And also the, max, the, the maximum value from the root to the current node. So for example, this is a node we are going to pass to DFS. Then the current maximum value is gonna be uh, between one and three, which is three actually. So you're going to pass two things. Uh, one is a node, the current node, and one is the maximum value from root to the current node. And then uh, it is gonna be a on solution regarding the runtime because we just need to uh, visit each node once. So having said that, uh, let's start to do some coding work. So like I said, uh, I'm going to define a helper function. Let me call it DFS. And uh, we have two parameters. Uh, another one is called, we call it max value. So because we are not going to return anything, uh, we are going to define a private uh, attribute. Let's call it num good nose. And uh, yeah, so I think we have everything now. So within, I'm going to implement this DFS function later on. So within the function, first of all, we are going to initiate a good number of the good nodes to be equal to zero. And then we are going to call DFS on top of root. So because we have the constraint saying that the, root, the node is never gonna be empty, so we don't need to check if it is not. So DFS and also we pass the root dot uh, root dot value. Okay. Okay. So then let's and finally you're going to return the number of the good nodes. And then for DFS function, um, if the root is equal to a none pointer, then we are just going to return without doing anything. Otherwise, uh, what we are going to do is. Um, if uh, root.value is larger or equal to the current maximum value, then we are going to plus plus the number of the good nodes. Otherwise, uh, we are going to visit two branches, uh, the left node and the right node. So we are going to say, okay, root dot left and also this would be uh, mass dot max between the current max value and uh, and the uh, the value of the of the root which would be root dot value here and similarly we are going to visit the right node um, all right 
So after that, I think we pretty much have everything. So I'll rely on this platform to help us do the debugging work for simplicity of this video. Okay, so we have a compiling arrow, which is a typo here. All right, so we have something good. Let's run through some other example task cases. All right. All right, it's good. Let's do a submission for it. Okay, so that's it for this uh, clean question. If you have any question regarding the solution, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.